What's going on, John? What? Who just? Everyone is talking to me. Oh my lord! I can't take this. Who is yelling at me? What? I'm listening. Okay. So you keep saying. Next time, Arthur, try faith. Try faith. Okay. Question mark? What was that whole interaction? Like it. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called. Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well. However it goes, I know exactly where Dutch is. Sure He's sitting by that tree. Thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Oh, really? Yes, Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch. You tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The Adriscals. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adriscal boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. Have you lost your mind? You're always telling us, Dutch, do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap, but what do we got to lose finding out? Get Dying? Shot. Yeah. You're getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You gotta take it. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed the woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. <laughs> this seems fishy from the get-go. Uh, Mount up then, Morgan. My boy, I'm on the horse. I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. You're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had. Pinkerton's coming after us because of Blackwater and Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head? Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so. Why are we like bogging like this? Can we not get on a road? Where are we going? Don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay. Just 
Keep calm, so I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Guess we'll see how it goes. Too much. too much. There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. Yeah. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The prophet of this great nation. Man created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I mean, I suppose. Oh, no. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. Okay. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterward. Oh, that was a good poop hoss. All right. Let's get this over with. Was that a dead coyote? What is that? No, I'm not sure. Well, there they are. Dutch. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? Oh. <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh! <sighs> A trap it was. Sense. 
handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella coming I'm back, getting the heck out of here. All back. True. We're calling him back. He's escaping. Shoot him. No, don't shoot me. Oh! Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Oh! Oh, I'm on the back of a horse. How the tables have turned, huh? This is not good at all. Arthur Morgan. That's me. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Wu? Tell me, uh, fine gun like you, uh, why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. Oh, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed uh, a whole bunch of my boys. Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And then all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. Boy, I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> in to rescue you. Grab all of you. Hand you in. Then disappear. You only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> Oh, I bet that hurts so bad. Probably broke a couple ribs right there. Got it. What is this doing? Oh, I see. Cauterizing the wound. Okay. Oh, this should do it. Oh, Lord. Yeah, 
Yeah, that'll do it. Good night to you. Let's get the heck out of here. What's he still doing down there? Um one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. He better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of me. Leave the area on a horse. Let's see, looks like there's only four guys here. This guy I can try and stab. Don't you turn around. Oh, come on. I just need to get a little bit closer to him. Um. Okay. I want it to be a wee bit stealthier than that. But, uh, I saved a throwing knife, so that's good at least. Oh, I don't know why I didn't throw it at him. I'm stupid. Whatever. I need to get my guns, though, before I leave. I spent too much money upgrading those things to just leave them here. Is this guy gonna move? This guy on the map? Oh, yeah, there he goes. He turned around. Oh, Lord, help me. Okay, <laughs> that was too close for comfort. Okay, they're both facing the other way. So that's good at least. Where's this guy? Oh, there's another one over there. He seems far away though. This guy by this cabin. Where is he at? Oh, he's right here. Let's see if I can... There you go. Alright, I need to get my guns. And I am out of here. All right, let's go. I'm not sticking around here any longer. Is this Haas? Oh, it is. Haas, I'm back. Oh, God. Get me out of here. Um? Hello. Keep going. Pretend they're not there. I need every ounce of stamina you have, Hoss. Passed out. Oh, yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> Haas is such a good boy. Still holding on somehow. Home sweet home. I need help, Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on our No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw. 
you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Few weeks. Oh my goodness. I thought I'd be burying you. Good lord, that beard. Well, not quite yet, River. That is majestic. How you feeling? Oh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. Wow. That is a beard right there. My goodness. Oh, journal entry. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who was looking for him and a means to getting to us. Whole thing turned nasty and he'd been treated pretty bad, but we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their tracks, so he came so came back to camp with us. There always seems to be more bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back to the open country of the West, or what's left of it. But even that ain't the way I remember it. I have been recuperating after an interesting encounter with Colm O'Driscoll. Judge got it into his mind to meet the bastard to somehow end all this little lunacy. Pardon my stutter. Only Colm did not share Dutch's sense of honor amongst thieves. Whole thing was a setup to kidnap me, then... We were all the rest of us into a trap so we could get arrested and Colm could disappear away. Us somehow carrying off his sin. Huh. Not sure what that was meaning. Along with our own to the gallows. Seems like Colm is enjoying this modern world even less than we are. More by luck than judgment, I escaped and somehow got back here. More dead than alive and collapsed into bed for a few feverish days. After much nursing from Miss Grimshaw and Miss Tilly, and much guilt-ridden apologies from Dutch over his stupidity, I survived okay. My shoulder, while I was shot, ain't come down with gangrene, and I will live, if even uglier than before. Things is getting even more insane with the local population. My sense is neither the Greys nor the Braithwaites have a pot to piss in, but I ain't spent too much time with the landed gentry. Whatever else they is, they don't make one believe in the nobility of the aristocracy. Alright. I need to shave. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. What? So, you tell me. What a thing to say to someone. My goodness. So here's a question. Do I actually want to shave? The whole thing's at six, except for my chops. What if I just lowered the chin and mustache down to five to match the chops? And roll big beard for a little bit? I'll keep that for a bit and see what, what I think about it. See it in a few cutscenes. Um, but based on that thing saying that I had... To, a few weeks have gone by. I need to change. <laughs> We're in the same clothes for over a week. And since I had that shopping spree, I can try and put some kind of outfit together. So let's see. So did I get two colors of this? I did. I got like a white one. That's kind of cool. Oh, and I got this too. But also, it's hot around here. So what if I want to go no coat? I'll have to pick a vest. Let's see, that's one that I had already, I'm pretty sure. I got a few colors of this. That's alright. Green's cool. Classic vest. Uh, 
Legion vest. Huh, no vest doesn't even look that bad. Hmm. Let's try this. Let's see, what shirts do I have? Everyday shirt. Everyday over shirt. Hmm. French dress shirt. Union shirt. I wonder what this would look like with that vest. Hmm. Can't tell if that looks good or not. I'm considering just doing no vest. I kind of like the way it looks. And then, uh, let's see. Pants. Blue jeans? Nah. I think black pants are probably the move. But which black pants? Everyday pants. That's what I'm wearing right now. Town pants. Let's go with the uh, black. Or wait. Yeah, the black jeans. And then. Um, yeah, those suspenders are fine. Put on some more casual boots. Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, let's see. Neckerchief. Or just leave the bandana. I'll go neckerchief for now. It'll probably disappear like it always does. And then it'll inevitably get uh, replaced for the bandana at some point. Gloves off. Okay, I think that's a pretty casual outfit since it's hot. Let's go talk to... I'm assuming it's Bill. Yeah, Bill Williamson. In town. I like this no vest look. I'm glad I decided to do that. Alright, Haas, let's get out of here. Um, hello? I did not press Y. Weird. Haas needs some food. It'll take more than that, boy. There you go. How are my cores doing? Oh, I'm I'm good. Oh yeah, sleeping refills all your cores. I forgot about that. Okay, that's that's cool. Oh wait, I didn't sleep though. I guess since it was like that cutscene. Smoke. 